Leave it 5 one turn right heading 180. Before I do begin, I'm back active on Twitter, posting lots of plane spotting images and interacting with you all. If you are interested, you can head over to the Twitter, which is at DJ's Aviation. Last week, you might recall, it was covered here on the channel that the Boeing 787 had a new issue that became present that in turn caused the grounding of eight of the type. The report was first revealed by the highly reputable The Air Current and quickly garnered a lot of attention. To recap, Boeing found two issues with the type. Now, each of these on their own did not warrant it being a safety concern, but putting the two together at the same time did. And some of the 787s currently parked or in service were found to have the two issues. According to the Wall Street Journal, the FAA is now investigating the matter at hand. But today's focus is on a problem with the vertical stabiliser on the aircraft. This is now not the first, not the second, but now more like the third and fourth issue found on the aircraft series, only in the matter of a few weeks. Como News, who reported the faulty part, noted that the focus centred around the structure of the tail fin. They said that some of the 787 Dreamliners have unskimmed gaps of around 0.034 inches, which might not seem like a lot, but a gap of that extent is not normal, nor is it something that should be there. With aircraft, there's a fine margin between what's acceptable and what's not. After all, aircraft we fly day in, day out... From the A320neo to the A380 to now even the 787 need to have all parts working and intertwining like a well-oiled machine. One small fault in any sense can set off more faults inside the aircraft and of course be catastrophic if it was the worst case scenario. It was determined that by the Federal Aviation Administration that said issue could result in the type's joints exceeding the load capabilities of the aircraft in general and these parts in general. Boeing proceeded to address the new production issue, which according to multiple people, including Como News, could affect as many as 680 Boeing 787s. Now that is over half of the total delivered units to customers to date. Boeing themselves noted that the issue was actually found in late 2019 and has at this point already been addressed by the aircraft manufacturer. In fact, further going on to say that the problem did not impact the safety of any aircraft or any flight, which again does go against what was being said earlier, but this is coming from Boeing themselves. Because of all this, Boeing said that no immediate action was required on the aircraft going forward and at the time when they first identified the new issue. As for now, the FAA is said to be continuing to heavily focus on the Boeing 787, which has been at the forefront of talk of late, with multiple manufacturing flaws making headlines. With all these recent flaws, it is almost guaranteed at this point that the aircraft manufacturer is indeed being looked at closely. The FAA will be doing anything and everything to ensure that these problems do not impact the structural integrity of the plane, and that they're safe to fly. If it wasn't, the type would be forced out of service for however long it takes to sort the issue. Again, this is the absolute worst case scenario. The positive, if there really is any to take from this type of thing, is the problem was reportedly found early on, and while any aircraft should not have an issue, it's a good result that it will not impact the safety of passengers, as said by according to Boeing themselves. If you have any thoughts on this or any of the other manufacturing flaws, do not hesitate to let me know. And as always, please remember that I don't control the situation currently ongoing at Boeing. I don't control the constant manufacturing flaws and so on. I'm simply reporting what is being said to you and not going too much into my own opinion. Essentially stating the facts. As always, thanks and I'll see you once again in the next video.